Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am testing out a full face of Revolution product. Those of you guys asked me to do this, this is a super affordable brand. I do have thoughts and opinions on this brand. I think that the actual finished look turned out pretty nice, but I'm really, very, there's some hits and misses for me for sure. So if you would like to see how I created this look, then please stay tuned. Hello. Full face of Revolution makeup. There's certain things about this I'm really excited about and there's certain things that I'm like, I'm not sure. First thing, when I went to shop the counter, I went to Superdrug, it was really hard to shop this counter. Drugstore products are quite like this, like sometimes I feel, but if things have plastic wrapping, quite often they're burst into because people want to try it out or whatever. The counter was really hard to shop. Loads of the colors were all mixed about. Obviously there's no one that's dedicated their work in, so totally understand but loads of the products were run out, but there were some in the drawer. Loads of products weren't in the right place, so you could very easily buy the wrong thing. I think maybe I'm used to buying online, which is really easy if you know your shade and your colour. NYX, for example, are a drugstore brand, and they've got counters in the drugstore, but they have a dedicated member of staff that works there that can help you. This brand, Revolution, doesn't have that. There's only one product I've properly tried, and it's the concealer, so I know that this is really good. I really like it. So I'm very excited to see what look we end up doing today. One other thing worth mentioning, I feel like some of these products are copies of other brands' products. For example, first product I'm going to use is the Revolution Pro Radiant Cool Pink Primer or the NARS Primer. It looks the exact same. Like, it's very, very similar. And it's the Radiance Primer. Do you know what I mean? Very, very similar. But who knows? Maybe it's great. So I'm going to take some of that in the back of my hand. Obviously, one of the best things about this brand straight away is how affordable it is. It's really inexpensive. For pushing. Not sure about that. It looks a bit pink and it's made me look a bit paler, but that's fine. Maybe it's great. Maybe it's really, really good. But do you know what I mean? Like when you, I'm putting it on, I can see that there's a cast. Whereas my NARS one, which looks very, very similar, goes on really glowy and there's no white cast. Next product I've got is the Conceal and Define Foundation. So that is the same as the concealer. I picked up the shade F8.5. This is far too light for me. It was in the wrong place. I thought I was picking up a different colour. What I have here is a, another drugstore foundation that's really dark that I'm going to try and make my colour. So I'll put this on first just to show you. I like the stick. I'm not sure how much to use. Let's just start with that and see what happens. When they're saying, oh, the colour's not bad, actually. Well, yes, it is. <laughs> I don't feel like this is super fair because I've got the wrong colour. You can obviously see that the coverage is decent because it's covering up my skin and making me look very, very pale. I really don't want to be horrible, but that looks like shit to me. This isn't fair because it's a different brand and I actually really do like this foundation. This has been NYX Total Control Drops. I'm just going to... Drop some of that on my face and blend it in with this foundation. So it's my colour. That's better. Yeah, that foundation was really, really pale for me. So what I would say is if you guys at home have that foundation, I would love to know what you think down below because I don't think that that was a really fair test. Because now I actually think it looks really nice. That's way better, right? But that's just why I mentioned that I wasn't a huge fan of the way that the counter was. It wasn't very easy to shop. Next, we're gonna conceal. This is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer in C10. I'm just gonna put this under my eye. Oh, right, okay, so that's really dark. I've had this before. I should have used this for my foundation. So that's fine. I actually lately have been using a concealer that matches me rather than super bright. So we'll just use that in the usual spots. But I have used the concealer before and it is really good, really nice. It's very full coverage. It's almost like shape tape. The powder I have is the Revolution Luxury Powder, Banana Powder. This looks the exact same as the Ben Nye, which is strange. I'm just going to dust that under my eyes. Next product is the Revolution Iconic Lights and Contour Pro Palette. It looks the exact same as the NYX palette. I can't get over this. Like, fair enough, if the products are good, then they're good, but that's not really original, is it? See, when I was trying to shop it, I was like, this all looks like stuff I've got already from other people. But you never know, maybe it's great. So I'm going to use this one here, and we're going to start bronzing our face. I'm actually just going to go in between these two. It's all right. <laughs> I don't want to be really harsh, because obviously it is really affordable brand. I just want to look nice. <laughs> Not bad. The skin looks much, much better than what I thought it was going to end up looking like. So I just went to check my highlighter box and I remember I got a Revolution highlighter. It was one of those strobe ones. Um, I'll pop a picture up here. 
and I swiftly put it in my giveaway box because I really wasn't a fan of it. So I thought I might have still had it to show you guys to use it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use the highlighter in here and I'm just gonna use this on the high points of my cheeks. It's white, so it might cast, oh no. That's actually all right, you know. I think that might be a highlighter as well, so I'm gonna mix these two together. A bit white, like you can see, it casts cool tone, which for me personally isn't my fave, but if you are fairer than me, or you like a cool tone highlighter, then that is actually really nice. I'm gonna use this in all my usual bits. Yeah, I couldn't see that many bronzers on the counter, so that's why I had to go for a palette like this. And then obviously, when you get a palette like that, it advertises itself as being able to do quite a lot of things on your face so I thought I may as well put it to the test and see if I actually could do those things. That looks actually really nice. I don't want to say it's subtle, it's not subtle but it's really nicely going on to the skin. Slight white cast to it but that's not too much of a problem. I'm going to go back in with this bronzers and I've just seen on the back of this palette it actually says it's a blush palette which I think is a bizarre thing to call this. This looks like a contour palette to me. Skin actually looks really nice, so good job. I'm gonna take some of the banana powder on my little puff. So what I'm gonna do is my, my new thing that I like. That isn't half bad, you know, guys. That highlighter surprised me. For someone that I borderline hate cool tone highlighters, but I think that looks really pretty. I'm going to shoot off camera really quickly and just do my eyebrows and then we'll be back to do our eyeballs, which I am actually very excited about. <laughs> Brows are on, I look crazy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my bronzer brush just to dust this away. I've carved out my eyebrows and I'm going to use the concealer, just the conceal and define concealer, just to prep my eyeballs. And I'm just using a light layer, too much then it kind of increases the chance of creasing. I'm sure I've used this as an eyeshadow primer before and it was good. I'm going to set that really quick just with this banana powder that's in the palette. Just a light layer all over. Now this part I'm actually really excited about because I've heard really good things about it. This is the Revolution collaboration with Soph Does Nails, Sophie. She is a wee gem. She's really great. So I went and bought this. The colours are great. I don't know what to do. I'm really drawn to the khaki shades. Really nice big mirror in it as well. And it wasn't um, expensive. This whole brand is really affordable. For my lip I've got a nudie lip. It's like a peach, but I've also got the matte lip kit, which again looks like something else, doesn't it? It looks like the Kylie Jenner lip kits. To be fair, everyone is doing lip kits these days. And this is super dark. Let's do it. Let's do the khakis. So I'm sure that people would probably steer towards these colours, the warm browns and stuff like that. I'm actually going to go with the khaki side. I've not done that much khaki this year. <laughs> I'm going to go in with cookie dough first, just this one right here, and I'm just going to do the transition. That looks lovely. So I'm just using my usual eyeshadow brush and usual techniques, and I actually think that the eyeshadow's going on really nicely. It's blending nicely as well. That's a really nice um, transition colour. You get loads of colours in here as well. One, two, three, four, five, six times three. You get 18 colours. Even that by itself with a lash for me would be perfect. I think that I'm actually going to do a full khaki smoke. It's been ages since I've done that. I'm going to use just a dense synthetic brush and I'm going to go in with the khaki shade, which is called Lakes. Start applying this all over the lid. And I'm just bringing that khaki shade right up past the crease to stop our eyes looking too small. Now I'm going to go back in with my fluffy brush and the khaki shade and we're just going to start smoking this out. And I'm just taking loads of time blending. I'm actually going to go in with chocolate orange, which is just down here. Just a little bit warmer to help me get that blend out. I really like the colours. And I'm just using the warmer shade to help me get that nice elongated shadow. I just noticed a tiny wee bit of patchiness on the lid. So I'm just going to mix lakes and reputation together and we're just going to put that on the lid for a little bit more intensity that blue is really 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 pigmented and i'm going to back in with the khaki color and we're just going to keep on going backwards and forwards with this blend in cool i like that i'm going to bring that khaki color underneath the eye 
My under eyes look a little bit muddy. If I was doing this look again, I would definitely do the eyeshadow first just because the palette is great and the pigments are brilliant, but do you get a little bit more fallout than what I'm used to? So it's gone under my eyes and then when I've swept it away, it's not quite disappeared. So I'm going to try and brighten them up again. Usually when I swipe my eyeshadow away, it disappears completely, but not this time. Mm, it's not bad, it's okay. I'm just going to finish the eye look off with the mascara. This is the Mascara Revolution. Yeah, that's good. See what it's like when it starts to dry. My bottom lashes are too long, so they've touched my cheek. So I'll just let that dry and then see how it comes off. That really does not look bad, you know, guys. I am pleasantly surprised. I'm just going to take a spoolie. Oi! That came off no problem. I'm going to go in with Dreams, and I'm just going to highlight my inner corner with it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'm going to zoom you out and we'll do our lips. <laughs> I'm not going to do the dark lip, but I don't have a lip pencil. They didn't sell any lip pencils, it was wild. The only lip pencil I could get was to go with this shade. I actually did have lashes to put on. I got these Ardell Wispies, the double Wispies, but I don't think it's really needed. See with a dark eye like this, it doesn't really matter, and I actually think that mascara is pretty great. I don't think I've ever done like a night out makeup without lashes before, so here you go. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to test this lip contour kit out, the really dark one, and then we maybe we'll take it off and change our lip, because I've got the light one as well. Oh, wee pointy pencil. So, right, so let's do this lip. Not bad. It feels quite waxy, but I think that the Urban Decay ones are quite waxy as well, but this feels like I can feel it around my lip. Okay, liquid lipstick time in the shade Glory. Eh. Uh, it's quite patchy. Look. Oh no. That's terrible. <laughs> oh no. No. I'm not even going to let that set because it'll just be harder to take off. Uh, not a fan of that whatsoever. Here is the Revolution lipstick. Very similar. Very, very similar. Bizarre. Very bizarre. I don't know how they get away with that. Anyway. So this is the Revolution Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigment in the shade Veil. I'm going to use this first. It's really light, so I do actually, oh, I do need to use a lip liner. There's a Rimmel lip liner that I'll use, which is also affordable. Yeah, Revolution, I find it really difficult to find lip liners. When I was in Superdrug, there was a huge big counter that was for Revolution Pro, and then there was a huge big counter that was just for Revolution. And I really struggled to find lip liners and bronzers. And they'd sold out a load of their highlighters as well, which makes me think that maybe I tried the wrong one and that maybe some of them are actually are quite good. So I'm going to line my lips first with Rimmel. This is the shade Cappuccino. And I'm just going to go straight in with this little guy. Tested this out on my lip once and the pigment is much better. That feels nice as well. I feel like I'm going to add these lashes just to see if it makes a difference. Because I do like it, but I feel like there's something missing. So I'm going to pop these wispies on. I used to wear these lashes all the time. Do you know what? I'm just looking at my face, right? And I'm trying to figure out what it is I'm not sure about. And see that much of my makeup I really like. It's the pinky lip that I don't like. And I didn't like the dark lip either because I thought it was quite patchy. So I feel like if I'd got the nude that I wanted, that's another thing that I could not find. There was one tester of a nude lipstick that looked so nice, but in its section, it was just full of other colors and stuff like that. So I couldn't find it. I, I think it was probably sold out because it was a really nice shade. Okay. That is the finished look, you guys. I hope you liked it. I am pleasantly surprised. Honestly, I didn't have much hope. There's some things that I would give a miss, like the primer I didn't like. I didn't think it did anything for my skin at all, apart from maybe make me look a wee bit like pale. The lip kit is a definite no. That was wild, absolutely not. And then this palette is all right. It did the job, like I think that my skin looks like fine. But I feel like a lot of people have the next one already and I do think the next one's better. So there's like there's loads of stuff in this collection that you probably have already that you could probably give a miss. The things that I think are really nice are the palette. Palette was really, really good, especially because it's so affordable and you get so many different colors. Let's just swatch a couple of the brights. Nice. 
Um, I had actually seen loads of really positive reviews on the palette already, so I kind of knew that that was going to be quite good. I think the mascara is really nice. I thought that it did my bottom lashes perfect, which I really like. The concealer and the foundation, I think I'm going to have to try again. The concealer I know is good and I like it. If you are a full coverage type of person, you will really like it. The foundation, that was looking really crazy until I corrected the colour to make it my own colour. I feel like I might venture out and go and get the proper colour for me because this was far too pale. This was F8.5. Yeah, I think it's good. Again, I prefer a glowier foundation and I feel like this is quite a matte full coverage foundation. So maybe that's just not really my style at the moment. Powder's nice. It did a good job of, of carving out my bronzer. And then yeah, lipstick, I think it feels great. It feels really, really nice, but I hate this colour. I hate this type of pink on me. I think if I wear pink, it's got to be a super light nude pink that I can blend in with a lip liner. But this is so close to my natural lip color, which I really don't like. Overall, I think it's definitely somewhere that you should maybe look into if affordable makeup is what you're interested in. Looking at my face up close, it's actually nice. I don't think that if I wondered about or went to see friends of mine, they would look at me and say, what have you done different? I think they would think that I look relatively the same as always. How this makeup wears is what I'm more interested in. So I'm going to wear it to the gym, which I'm not looking forward to. But I'll wear it to the gym and then I might do a little checkup with you guys and just show you how it's lasted. So you guys, that is my roundup of Revolution. I am really interested to hear what you guys think down below. Loads of you guys asked me for a full face of Revolution, so here it is. I hope I didn't disappoint. And I actually do think it does look really good. So let me know down below what your thoughts are. Other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello. I'm puffed out, I'm actually puffed out. Uh, I just got back from the gym and I have thoughts and feelings. I am very pleasantly surprised. The foundation, I'm not gonna comment on because I don't think it's fair. I mixed it with the NYX drops, which is more dewy than usual, so I actually think that the foundation might have been even more long lasting if I hadn't had to mix it for my right color. So I'm definitely gonna go and pick it up in my right shade. Everything else looks really good. The lipstick, I am gonna have to get in different colors because the colour of this is the only thing I don't like about it. I actually think the formula is really, really nice. It's come off in some parts, but I suppose that's the kind of beauty of wearing a lipstick that's closer to your own colour, is that when it comes off, you can't really tell. But I'm going to pick up some more of these for sure. And I actually think that this powder is really good as well. See the amount you get for the price as well. It's actually really, really good. You know, sometimes when you're in your own house and you've done your own makeup, all it takes is for someone else to say, while wow, your makeup's lovely, for you to go, do you know what, maybe, maybe it's actually not half bad. So Mandy, my trainer, literally said to me, she was like, your makeup's amazing. And I was like, it's all really like inexpensive stuff I've used. So I actually think it's really nice. And overall, I would definitely try some things. Obviously, all brands have hits and misses, but it has actually very pleasantly surprised. Still think that they should maybe come up with some ideas that aren't rip-offs of other brands. But uh, yeah, that is my final thoughts and feelings. Love you, bye. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Testing a sound, ding dong. One, two, three, one, two, three. Getting a wee bit of fallout, but that's fine. I'm just gonna powder my, oh, bye. But if you've, oh, did I just kick the camera again? Powder's nice, it did a good job of doing the cutting, eh, uh, cutting, <laughs> not bad at all.